Hey, what's going on, guys? Uh, it's been a minute since I posted a video. It was like uh, a week ago. Last time I posted, I, I talked about I had to put my business on hold because of my heart condition. So uh, uh, to keep an update, um, I went to the doctor to get uh, talk to the doctor about my heart. And the next process is I had to get an MRI to see if I got a scar. Uh, I forgot what the name that they said that I might get, that I might have, but it, they st it's still considered as a left bundle branch block. A left bundle branch block is something that like, uh, my beat, my, my heart is beating slow sometimes. And, uh, you know, it's due to certain things and all that stuff. So, uh, but usually people my age don't get it. That's why uh, I got a weird condition because like somebody my age, I'm 32, I shouldn't even have this condition. So, uh, um, you know, I'm just, out of everything, I'm just praying that I don't have to get surgery. I don't even want to think about it, but anybody that's watching this, you know, just pray for me. Pray that I don't have to get surgery because, you know, that's a scary thing to even think about. So I'm just praying. You know, pray for me, y'all. Um, so yeah, you know, um, my next, you know, my appointment to get my MRI is uh, August the twentieth, August the nineteenth, I think. So I'm waiting on that. Why wait on that? Even though I said I was gonna put my business on hold, I decided to like, you know, maybe I should just at least get the paperwork and stuff like that. And um, you know, I I I don't I don't want to push the put the business on hold. I want to still get everything done and wait until all, and by that time, August the 20th, I should be able to know, like, you know, uh, by that time, everything should be done. Now I just need to know, like, am I okay to like drive and everything? So, you know, cause like I told you, I still don't know how to drive the box truck. You know, my homie uh, is going to teach me how to uh, drive the truck. So, but like, um, you know, um, like I like I told you before, I had ordered. I mean, I I put a payment down on a box truck. Oh yeah, that's uh, this why I forgot to tell y'all, uh, cause it was like last Tuesday. That I mean, well, on Monday, last Monday, I uh did my DOT physical. I got a certificate. I was kind of confused because I thought they were supposed to give you a medical card, but you know, I, I need to uh, talk to somebody about that. Like I thought they were supposed to give you a medical card. I got a physical, I got a, uh, I got a certificate. So I hope that's, I, I hope that's the, uh, the same. That's, I, I don't know. I got to talk to somebody about that. Um, two, uh, Tuesday, I put, uh, Tuesday, I put a, a down payment I put money down on this box truck that that I, that I wanted, and you know this is the same truck I said that uh, we the the people that own the box truck they are waiting on the pen dot which is DMV waiting on them to change the title, and prior to me uh, you know looking at the truck. Prior to me, like them telling me that it's been months and months since they trying to get this title change. And by that being said, who knows when they're going to change the title. Like PennDOT, you know, since the pandemic has been really like just a dick. Like they don't want to do their freaking job. And, you know, it's becoming a pain in the ass. And I don't know when I'm going to be able to get this uh, truck, you know. But the good news about this is that even though I'm not able to use this truck, it gives me time to be like, okay, at least I know I got one truck, you know, uh, I, I got one truck that I can, uh, that I know I got. So now I need to see uh, if I want to get a rental. You know, while, while waiting on this truck, let me get a rental or something. So the I was gonna uh, contact some, uh, you know, uh, some box truck rentals, and uh, I was gonna go to Ryder, 
and uh you know i got an email from the uh person i, I was going to do it I, I was going to do it and everything i was about to get the insurance and all that for the box window uh i think it was like wednesday or thursday i talked to somebody from riders and um i was thinking about doing it when I got the, when I left from the doctors on Friday for my heart and everything, I don't know, son just told me to continue, like, all right, I know that I said I was going to do the box rental, you know, while I wait on the first truck that I put money down, you know, it, it, it probably take like two months from now and all that, but like, man, like, from the grace of God, like, I looked at Craigslist and it was just, uh, somebody had posted this box truck. Like, it's not, ch to me, it's, it wasn't cheap, but it's really cheap to an average um, box truck business owner. Like, I was looking at it like, bro, like, this is still, like, of course, maintenance needs to be done and all that stuff. But, like, you know, at first, um, I, it was kind of sketchy because the person didn't put their number on there. So I was like, all right, let me, you know, this is this is some old school stuff. So I'm going to have to reply to them on the Craigslist email. So that's what I did. You know, uh, it, you know he, it didn't take for like almost like 15, 25 minutes that the person emailed me back with a number. And uh, when I called the phone, you know, you know, it, you know, you know, you know, it was a brother. I was like, oh, snap. Like, you know, like, you know, but I try to not be like you know him trying to look out for me and stuff like that because like at, at the end of the day like this is a business and everything and i don't want him thinking that like oh because we brothers i mean you know because you black and i'm black you know can you look out for me and all that stuff and he just letting me know like hey listen like there's people there, there's people that are interested in the in the truck uh i got this one guy from jersey you know, cause I live in Philadelphia. I got this guy in Jersey that's uh, already checked it out. Got the uh, what's the name uh, mechanic check it out, and he's gonna come and and probably get it tomorrow. And on his post, he said first come first serve, and he was like, you know, if you want to check it out and everything, just let me know. And I had to make a decision. And I was just like, man, like. I gotta buy this, you know. If I if I really like this truck, I need to buy it today. I can't, I can't, I can't do it tomorrow because the guy from Jersey might get it before me. So I was like, you know what? All right. So I went over there. First thing I did was, uh, you know, like I let him know, like, yo, let me go to my bank and everything and see if I can, uh, you know, cause, cause like I, I was like, yo, like, I, I gotta get this truck. So I, uh, the money that I had on my bank account, I had to transfer it. I had to transfer it to my other's account and anything, so I could pay. You know, if I'm with, if I'm interested in the truck, I'm gonna pay it by check. So that's what I did at the bank, and um, I thought I thought they was gonna I thought they was gonna give me the official check, but they didn't. Uh, that was like the next day. So uh, I went to. Uh, you know, the guy emailed I me, mean, text me, you know, where the truck was at. I went to check it out. You know, I, w I was there before him. And um, when he came by, you know, like, you know, cool, cool guy, man. Like, you know, I I was just so happy. You know, I was just so happy to meet him. Uh, and, you know, uh, of course, I was happy about the truck, but I was happy to meet him because, like, now I finally found somebody in Philadelphia that... You know, if I need uh, if I need help on something, he could definitely help me out and shit. So I was I was glad about that. And we was just talking and everything, and just talking about life and like how he got in the business. And you know, I'm a new I'm a I'm a new business uh, new authority and everything. And he was proud of me and stuff like that. He wants me to keep on going and stuff. And and you know, I I think I think my drive made him be like yo man like if you if you really want it and everything like i would i'd rather give it i'd rather give it to you than like you know what's in the, you know because like you know like you you seem like an eager you know you seem like you you know 
you know, like you, you know, it, he's he 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 wasn't trying to be like you know like I didn't want to get nobody from New Jersey or like any anybody else, but the fact that he just he just felt like I think he felt as though like out of all the people that he called and everything, he seemed like I needed I needed that truck the most because I'm new and everything like, and he knows how costly the business is. And I show him like, yo, like I I buy this. Like, I literally show him the check. I'm like, dude, I might do. I I will buy this truck now. And he was like, well, this not really a certified check, so we're gonna have to do it tomorrow and everything. And I was just like, damn, it really. Uh, you know, this is my first time cashing the check, so I was like, damn. I thought the lady was gonna give me a certified check, but she didn't. So uh, I was like, alright, cool. So we uh, Saturday, we waited till Saturday, and um. Yeah, man, like, uh, Saturday, uh, I was about to go over there and get the truck and everything, and, uh, I was kind of, like, I was kind of iffy because, like, you know, he told me that, you know, he called me, he was like, you sure you try to get this truck because I got somebody that's coming all the way over there to buy this truck, and he didn't really give me no detail, and I thought he was trying to play me and stuff, and I was just like, what's going on, but come to find out, you know, because I, I thought he was talking about the guy from Jersey, Cause I was like, I was like, yo, I was on the phone. I, I was with you when you was on the phone with the guy from Jersey, letting him know like, yo, like, uh, this guy is gonna get this this truck and everything. But come to find out that it was another person he was talking about. Tell me why this guy from Virginia didn't even call him. He decided that he was gonna drive from Virginia to Philadelphia to get the truck without at least giving the guy a call. I mean, like, the guy did say that, yeah, like, uh. He did. He did tell me he's like, yo, I'm about to come to Virginia. I'm, I'm coming from Virginia to to check the car out, and he was like, all right, just come. But my thing is, you can't go by anybody's word. He already he 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 said it on the post. It's first come, first serve. So what you thought that in a day that things is going change, not going change. So I I don't feel sorry for him. Like you know, like you you took this, you took you took this drive for nothing. Like I don't know how far. I think he took like a four to five hour drive, if I'm not mistaken. Like, he's crazy for that. Like, I'm not taking no four or five hour drive. If I know if 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 if, if I know for sure that I'm going to at least get if I'm not going to at least get the car, I'm going to at least you know check it out and all that. I mean the truck and everything. So anyway, uh, we went to you know we went to the bank, my my bank and everything. I finally got the certified check. Gave it to him, and uh, we went to, you know, get it registered under my name and all that stuff. And yeah, man, like I got me a truck, you know. Like I'm, I was so happy, bro. Like I was so happy, man. Like I never thought that I was gonna get a truck. I actually got two trucks in one week. Like that's, I mean, even though I ain't really fully paid for the first truck, but like, you know. I'm not gonna pay for the whole truck if I can't use it and anything, like you know. So, but uh, you know, I'm gonna make sure, like, like yo, like before I before I buy, it, you know, before I uh pay for it all, like I need, I wanna make sure that you, you know, everything is good before I buy buy the first truck and everything. So I'm gonna make sure they, you know, don't try to jip me and all that stuff. But uh, but yeah, I finally got my truck. It's it's a little older than than the first truck, but it's still liable, you know. Uh, even though it was cheap, that was half of my that was majority of my money that I spent. So I'm literally like, <laughs> like I gotta like fall back and everything. And I and I got and I still gotta pay insurance and stuff. So um, I'm hoping in like in a week or two I I pay for the insurance and everything and get started with the process of Amazon Relay. And get started and all of that. So, uh, so, so work in progress. Uh, work in progress, but I'm almost there. Um, so happy, man. Uh, I I got my homie that I said that was going to help me. You know how to drive the box truck. Uh, yesterday he parked it near my location. You know, uh, he parked it where uh, uh, you know, f from the location that I saw the truck. You know, he he drove it for me, uh, uh, parked it close to to my locations and stuff. So, 
you know, I got to make sure every day I at least turn the call on, you know, just so I can keep it running, like, and everything. So, uh, until it's time for me to get it, uh, uh, you know, um, I, you know, I got to get an oil change. I got to get a, uh, the engine belt, uh, change. It only cost me $20 to get the belt. Um, I got a, uh, uh, inspection. I got to get an inspection. So, um, and, 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 you know, like, uh, I think, I think I need to do something with the AC. Like the AC work, but I got to like charge it or some, so oh, that's what the guy was saying. But other than that, man, I got a, I finally got a truck. Um, I just got to still do more paperwork and all that stuff. But like, I'm almost there, man. And, you know, um, like I said, once I get everything done, that's going to be a time that I'll be, then I got to, uh. Go to the doctor to get this MRI in. You know, see see what's the next prog process. You know, see what, what we gotta do as far as like. Hopefully, I'm just praying that I don't have to get surgery. So I'm praying for that. I hope everybody that's watching this is praying for me because, you know, I I hate to go this far and gotta. You know, just gotta you know, put everything on hold. So. You know, I'm you know, I'm not putting everything on hold right now. I'm still going and um just hoping for the best. I'm praying for the best. You know, I'm just praying. So thank y'all for uh you know, I'm gonna keep y'all updated on some stuff. I was gonna tell you some crazy stuff what happened after I got the truck, but I'll tell y'all that at another video. But uh this video is already too long, so um thank you guys and uh you know, see you next time.